Really? Hmm. Mrs. Doubtfire. What? Did you and Mr. Doubtfire ever... You must have had your share of problems. Oh, of course, dear. What marriage doesn't? But I always say, the bad times fade away and the good ones adhere themselves to your memory. Yes, excuse me. That's oh, all right. Oh, as I hold this cold meat, I'm reminded of Winston. God rest his soul. When did he pass on? Eight years ago, dear. This November. What happened? He was quite fond of the drink. Ah. It was a drink that killed him. How awful. He was an alcoholic. No, he was hit by a Guinness truck. So it was quite literally the drink that killed him. Oh, how tragic. Yes. Oh. Oh, but he was a good man, though, really. Satan, man. And despite his mountains of faults, dear, I always say, a flawed husband is better than none at all. Who needs a husband when I've got you? Oh, surely you don't mean that, dear. Well, oh, that's so sweet. I can't imagine what it was like being married to Daniel. Oh. Well, tell me, dear, what was so horrible about this man you lived with for 14 years? Well, at first, nothing. He was... He was so romantic, so passionate. Really? Well, he sounds like an absolute stud, dear. I hope you don't mind me being a tad rude, but how was he? You know, I, on a scale of one to ten. Oh, well, that part was always okay. Just okay? Well, he's probably a Casanova compared to poor old Winston. What was the matter with Winston? Oh, dear. Winston's idea of foreplay was, Effie, brace yourself. <laughs> oh. It was Daniel's spontaneity and his energy I fell in love with. Really? Everyone else I knew was so organized, so scheduled. Like me, I guess. Daniel was so wonderfully different and funny. He could always make me laugh. They always say the key to a solid marriage is laughter. But after a few years, everything just stopped being funny. Why? I was working all the time, and he was always between jobs. I hardly ever got to see the kids, and on the nights I would try to get home early to be with him, something would go wrong, the house would be wrecked, and I'd have to clean it up. He never knew, but so many nights I just cried myself to sleep. Really? The truth is, I didn't like who I was when I was with him. I would turn into this horrible person. I didn't want my kids growing up with a mother like that. When I'm not with Daniel, I'm better. And I'm sure he's better when he's not with me. Well, you never... I mean... Did you ever say anything to him, dear? Daniel never liked to talk about anything serious. <laughs> I, I used to think Daniel could do anything, except be serious. But then I was serious enough for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 